Welcome to Fram and Thorough Clock, or should I say, Fram O'Clock? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are going to look at the new Paladin tree, uh, mainly red, but I will go over all of the uh, talents and stuff, and I'll give my opinion throughout, and also at the end. Alright, so let's start with the basic Paladin tree, and what we got here. So. I guess baseline we got Hammer of Wrath, which is, uh, I mean, it's fine that it's standard. Uh, lay on hands as a point. I Again, I don't know how many points, so I know you need 20 points to get to here and stuff like that, but I don't know how many points you need. Like, for example, if I want to unlock this, do I need both of these or do I just need Blessing of Freedom? You know, stuff like that. If I don't need Lay on Hands and I can just do Blessing of Freedom, that would be great, but honestly... Learn Hands is nice for PvE, PvP, it's like, it does, the, like, at least make this an arena, like, what's the point of this talent if you can't use it in arena, you know, it's like, it's like, like, make it like, so like, instead of 100%, like in arena it heals 50% of HP or something like that, I don't know, it's still like a massive cooldown, Mo uh, most classes have like some crazy fucking abilities, that trump lay on hands i mean look at shaman healers let's be real shaman healers with their mastery can pretty much almost instant heal pretty much actually instant heal from 10 percent to 100 percent. that's actually lay on hands so i don't know why paladins can't use it whatever all right uh blessing of freedom whatever it's standard hammer of breath that's fine retribution crusader aura <sighs> So they still make retribution as an aura. Literally in Legion we had as a passive and then they made an aura and this is the most the dumbest aura you can have. This aura is literally what you would use if there's like two other paladins in a raid, which there aren't, that are using um devotion aura and concentration or some shit like that. And then it's like, okay, well the third paladin can use retribution if he wants. <laughs> it's like with the health and damage against surfing. Oh, wait, they changed it. Wait, 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 wait. NYI. When any party or raid member within 40 yards dies, you gain Avenging Wrath. Okay, that's fine. When any party or raid member within 40 yards takes more than 50% of their health in damage, you gain... Oh. In one hit or overall? Takes more than 50% of their health in damage, you gain surfing for 6 seconds. Uh, it's, I mean, it's it's some DPS, but the problem is it's like good luck timing it with like boss uh, tank mechanics that would like do like serious damage so that you can have this on to do the damage. I don't know. I feel like Devotion Aura is still going to be the most used and Concentration probably. Right. Fire Raid members are... Possible devotion, reducing damage taken. Yeah, you're gonna use this. Interrupt and sounds effect on party and raid members. Uh, well, maybe not concentration. What other auras? I guess, yeah. But, like, you're never gonna have more than, like, one or two paladins, really. Let's be real, right? So, it's like, you're usually gonna have only one paladin. So, it's like, good luck being a red in a raid, unless, like, you bring something extremely. Fist of Justice. Each holy power spam this the main clone on Hammer of Justice. By one second. I mean, I guess that brings Fist of Justice to about 30 seconds-ish, right? <sighs> like, 30 to 40 seconds, right? On In PvE, in PvP, probably a bit more. Um, Divine Steed, bro, give me... Uh, give me Long Arm of the Law. Who, who wants this fucking horse, man? Such fucking dog shit. Uh, Repentance or Blinding Light. I mean, both are pretty much... Uh, blinding Light... I guess, honestly, you would use Blinding Light almost all the time. Even in PvP. Unless you're a Holy Paladin, then you would use Repentance sometimes. But in, uh, even then, I feel like Blinding Light does, like... It's just an extra hard CC. A 6 second disorient. I believe it's also, like... I don't even... What does it even... Uh, diminish Ring turns with? I think with... Uh, Blind from Rogue and Sheep. No, Sheep is Sap, so it's not blind. Maybe Cyclone. 
but uh yeah i mean it's fine i guess whatever it's a cc uh seems lazy armor and critical strike chance cruise with percent i mean it's fine thing is it's like i kind of like these to an extent they're super lazy don't get me wrong but it does let you play around with your um like let's say if you don't have to go certain paths like let's say if you uh you kind of have to because of this this opens to everything but this doesn't hmm so the reason I kind of like this is because you can play with your gear a bit more. So it's like, let's say you only want like 30% crit chance. With this, you're going to have 32. So you can trade out some gear for more haste or mastery and stuff like that. Same with this. Haste increased by 2%. Similar. You can play around with your gear. I mean, I'm kind of okay with this. I think 2% is not a lot. Uh, if you're a human, don't you get like 2% to all your basic stats or something? So it's like, you know. Uh, Divine Steed now has two charges. I mean, it's Divine Steed bullshit. Um, the two charges is fine again. PvP. The problem with Steed is it doesn't remove snares, right? So it's like if you're like, this is mostly for PvP. For PvE, it's okay, it's fine. Who cares? Like, it's fine. You can get some mobility. The problem is for PvP. If you get snared or slowed, you have to use freedom, which will then probably get stolen or dispelled, unless you have the talent, the PvP talent, and then you have to use the horse. So it's like it's two GCDs just to get out of danger. Meanwhile, you have like mages can just blink out of danger, rogues can like pretty much like go invis out of danger, right? And it's like I feel like one of these should add Blessing of Freedom or remove all snares or like remove slows or something like that. If you're slowed, honestly, the, you're not moving even with 100% movement speed. It's like slow reduces to 30%. With Divine Steed, you're still at about 30%. Like you're not getting much faster than that. So it's like it should either uh, be immune to slows or something of the sort. Or at least one of these should add immune to... Um, to slows or something like that uh, extra duration by one second i'm assuming so this is two seconds i guess like in for the two talent points uh the problem is like in pvp three seconds is really like more than enough like you don't really need much more than that the extra two seconds for bgs yeah this would be great but like for arena it's whatever okay golden path uh this is pretty useless Attack power times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times what? Every one second while standing. Yeah, that's, that's whatever. Like, doesn't do anything pretty much. If there is an item that procs something while on getting heals, this would actually be fine. Because, like, if you stand your in your concentration, the heal can proc something, like a shield or whatever on a trinket or something, that would be cool. But other than that, like, it's pretty useless. What's this? Seal of Mercy. Clone Path strikes the lowest health en ally and enemy with... I mean, 50% of nothing is still kind of nothing, right? It's like, whatever. Anyways, what's this? Judgment of Light. Okay, pretty much a healer talent. Or you would be forced to take it as Ret if you don't have a Holy Paladin. Uh, is this with attack power or... No, spell power. Yeah, so this is only Holy basically this is the holy tree i guess uh avenging wrath for everyone it's like i love that there's all these choices but let's be real you have to take avenging wrath like you can't make a build without avenging wrath like let's be real uh come on light become the avatar da -da. i swear it used to be 25 percent yeah that's fine combines with other avenging wrath abilities and all non avenging wrath effects while act. Okay. While mounted on your charger or under the effects of Crusader Aura, the ranges of Crusader Strike, Hammer of the Righteous, Templar's Verdict, Rebuke, and Hammer of Justice are increased by three yards. Hmm. This would make. Sh hmm. This is actually interesting. This is essentially makes you a bit more ranged. Crusader Strike has now range like three yards. It's not a lot, but it's like something. It doesn't oh, but it doesn't affect your melee though. 
So you still have to be close to melee, but like it kind of lets you the option of like going in and out, I guess. It's not. Uh, I mean, it's interesting. Three yards is not much, but it is interesting. It's mostly like probably for the Templar Verdict and Hammer of Righteous. It's kind of like while you're running out, you can do Templar Verdict from a bit of a distance and then Hammer of Righteous from more distance, shit like that. Turn Evil, Black Compels, Power of Light compels you. And Undead Abrasion, Demon Target to flee for up to 40 seconds. Damage may break the effect, only one target can be tuned. I mean, the usual, okay, like nothing new, turn evil. Uh, kind of have to take this, like let's be real, you will have to take this to miss anything, no. Okay, alright, Seal of Reprisal. Okay, I mean you have to take this 10% increased damage. I'm assuming it's 5% per point. Uh, judgment. I'm just going to target to take 25% increased damage. Yeah, well, that's that's the mastery, isn't it? No, that's actually like what judgment basically does. Okay, and judgment earns one holy power. Like, again, have to take this, have to take this. It's like these talents are like a lie. It's like you have to take these talents. Less the party, reducing their damage thing by 30%, but you suffer harm, some damage prevented. Yeah, no, yeah, blessing of sacrifice, whatever. Cleanse toxin, cleanse the entire remove all poison disease. Uh, this is fine. I'm totally fine with Red not taking this anymore. As much as, like, I feel like, it, you know, Paladins always had cleanse, poison, and toxin, all that stuff, like uh, poison disease effects. Uh, you almost never really use it as Red. As Prot, I used it a good chunk of the time because healers never would cleanse and honestly like if i can cleanse myself i don't see why i, re uh, I don't see a reason for the healer to do it healer has is busy with other shit so it's fine it's like it's just one gcd as a tank it doesn't matter too much uh after image after you spend one holy power next world of glory echoes onto a nearby ally 30 percent effectiveness How would this work as a Holy Paladin? Because this is after you spend one Holy Power. Hmm. This is nice. This would be nice as Ret. This is pretty nice as Ret for PvP. Harms. This is fantastic for PvP as Ret. As a uh, Holy, though. Also pretty good as Prot, like overall. Because, like, you use your uh, shield, whatever, and then it's like whenever you heal, you heal, and then it heals uh, your level with 30%. And if it echoes from your heal, don't. Well, I, I mean, we'll have to see in the talents, but it's like, usually, Prot Paladins, their Word of Glory would heal more the lower your HP. So, this could actually be really strong for Prot. I can see Prot being PvP right now just because of this. I got one. Sacrifice of the Just. Reduce the cooldown blessing of sacrifice by 60 seconds. What's the cooldown on this? Okay, so it's a one minute. Must have for PvP. Or recompense. Oh, wow. After your blessing of sacrifice ends, 50% of the total damage it diverted is added to your next judgment cast as bonus damage. Hmm. Very situational, will not work in high rated PvP for sure. Uh, low rated PvP will definitely work because like people just keep attacking the sacrifice target. But in high rated PvP, people just like, oh, he's sacrificed, like CC, whatever, don't attack. Uh, blessing of protection. Let's party already remember granting immunity to physical damage and harmful effects for 10 seconds. I mean, Bob, yeah. Five minutes? There has to be a reduced cooldown. Five minutes is way too long for Bob. It should be like two or three minutes. Uh, Divine Purpose. Holy Power abilities have a 50% chance to make you holy. Yep. Yeah. Or Holy Avenger. Uh, okay, no one's taking Holy Avenger ever. There's like... People try to use Holy Avenger. It's... It's like, Holy Avenger is one of those things where it's like, it's a massive fucking gamble, where... Oh, wait, 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 oh, I, need, I need a straw. So it's like, unless you kill the target, so it's like, if you do twos or threes arena, Holy Avenger is fantastic for that burst damage, right? 
so for example if you are using the falling hammer uh, execution sentence and you want to get as many Templar verdicts and all that shit on people uh, yes Holy Avenger is the ability for you for sure because like every one attack you get three Holy power like every little thing you do three Holy power which means like it's Templar verdict Templar verdict Templar verdict Templar verdict but with the GCD you usually even with divine purpose let's say if divine purpose doesn't even proc right so you usually go into like you do seraphim uh you do judgment you do execution sentence you do right so execution sentence and then you're at zero holy power so and you can usually get let's say ashes uh templar uh blade of justice judgment or uh, crusader strike templar and maybe if you get a prox so you get like usually three holy power spending abilities within the execution sentence now with avenging wrath you would probably get four or five at most because like execution sentence is like eight seconds so it's like within the gcd you probably only have time for four at most because you have to generate in between which are all gcds gcd is about one and a half seconds maybe 1.3 uh with enough haste but like yeah it's still gcd is gcd so the only thing is that ashes would give you have holy power the thing i hate about holy avengers the most is it does not work with ashes of uh with ashes right wow forgot the name of the i just recall it ashes but i forgot the name ash ashes to ashes is that what it is maybe yeah anyways the problem is like if it would make it so you could have imaginary six or nine holy powers then this would be worth it like if holy avenger would increase the amount of holy power you can gather also by three like times three then it would be fantastic because then what you can do is you activate holy avenger you get nine holy power and then you go fucking ham and then you go like execution sentence you go seraphim execution sentence um templar verdict ashes three templars verdict that would be sick right that's that's what you want from avengers wrath from holy avenger sorry but if it's just times three a lot of your uh it doesn't even work because you only have five max so it really doesn't fucking work because like your blade of justice overcaps your ashes uh, ashes to ashes overcaps it doesn't work that way like if they want holy avengers to be taken they need to increase it to like nine holy power like or like 10 just you know give us more holy power uh voice again lazy but whatever it's fine okay hello ground damage increased by 10 percent this means nothing this is like for mythic plus if you want to like min max but again who cares like consecration damage is so low like, this this will be ignored for the most part it's so it's so useless uh each holy power you spend has a five percent chance to cause your consecration to flare up dealing medium holy damage to up to five enemies so this would be fantastic for pve uh what's this what's the second one touch of light your spells and abilities have a chance to cause your target to erupt in a blinding light dealing uh Holy damage or healing an ally. Ah. Uh, hmm. I feel like Touch of Light would be more used. Consecration, the problem with it is like it's a GCD, it barely does any damage. Again, if it's a group of like eight mobs or whatever, or like well, up to five, so like a group of five mobs then consecration might work but like i feel like touch of light is just more overall and it's a passive you don't have to think about it to drop consecration stuff like that the only time you really drop consecration is like you literally have nothing else to press you're like okay fuck it consecration like if it's like a boss fight or whatever it's like or like before you leave uh like from for a mechanic you have to get out you drop consecration you get the fuck out you know shit like that it's like consecration is not that good overall damage wise it's nice it's passive but uh silver crusader 
Your attacks have a chance to apply a debuff on the target, causing them to take 5% increased hold damage for 5 seconds. <sighs> Approximately 3 procs per minute. See, this is this is a very problematic, so I'm assuming it will be 15%, like 5% per uh, point. Uh, again, 50% extra hold damage is nice. Problem is, you can't control when it happens. 5 seconds is not a lot of time. 5 seconds is like 2 or 3 at attacks, and one or two of those attacks are not going to be holy damage for sure like it's like blade of justice is not holy damage uh crusader strike is not holy damage these are just physical damage so this would might affect 15 percent extra damage on like one templar verdict which is nice but you can control it and it's five seconds and it's like if you're hitting like that uh that cooldown if it happens right as all of your cooldowns are up you're not getting anything out of it which is like really sucks it's three per minute <sighs> boss fights 10 minutes so 30 procs of this maybe seven seven of those procs are going to be useful and again i don't know it's it's nice but it's weak like realistically it's kind of weak Hammer of Wrath deals 30 additional damage and extends the duration of Crusade or Avenging Wrath. This would be very useful overall. Uh, people will take this just to get to this, like, straight up. It is what it is. Alright. Okay, cooldown reduced by 60 seconds. What's the cooldown on it? Uh, yeah, well, what's the cooldown on... doesn't say. Okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming it's three minutes, uh, it's two and a half, and this will be one and a half, or it's two and this is one, or it's three and this is two, one or the other. Okay, uh, next. True Blessing of Protection, yep, reduced by 60 seconds, so it'll be four minutes. Or, we can Blessing of Spell Warding, which would make it three minutes, and it removes magic damage and harmful effects. Honestly, I would say this is probably better. Like, it depends on, like, you'll have to change it on the fly, depends on your arena match, but, like, this is substantially better. The thing is, even Mythic Plus, this could be fantastic, because this does not draw... A bop drops aggro from the tank for until the bop is removed, but this just makes him immune to magical damage and harmful effects. So, if it's a boss mechanic that's, like, you need the tank to not take damage or whatever, like, the tank is dying from just magic damage, boom, this is so much better. And I believe this also... Um... What do you call it? Does this have with Grievous Wounds? Grievous should be physical though, right? Necrotic. It helps with Necrotic for sure. Necrotic is like... It's not as bad now, but it's like this can literally cancel Necrotic. And it's 3 minute cooldown, which is better than Bop. And you can't Bop a tank, so this is, fun this is just fantastic. Uh, Avenging Wrath Mastery increased by 12%. Very good, yeah, everyone will want that. Um, Unbreakable Spear, reduce the cooldown of your Divine Shield by... Divine Shield, Divine Protection, and Lay on Hands by 30%. I mean, yeah, Divine Shield, Lay on Hands. Yep, so the Divine Shield is 5 minutes, so this would make it, uh, what, 3 minutes 40 seconds or some shit. Divine Protection, though. Oh, this is the pal the Holy One, Ardent Defender or Shield of Vengeance, depends, yeah, so. Shield of Vengeance, Ardent Defender, and Divine Pro Protection are all the same ability, depends on the spec. Okay, let's hear. Seraphim, Light magnifies your power for 15 seconds, granting 8% to all stats. Holy is for 12 seconds. I don't know what percent mastery. Oh, okay. That's kind of, okay, whatever. Uh, and then, what's the... What's this? Or Sanctified Wrath. Avenging Wrath lasts 25% longer and causes Judgment to generate one additional holy power. Hmm. I feel like Seraphim is just way better for almost everything. It's a 45 second cooldown. Basically every Mythic Plus pool you can have it or every other pool you can have it. Honestly for high ones, yeah, you'll have it for every pool. Um, PvP, you want this for the burst. And 45 second is literally almost like your your cooldown rotation so yeah you will pretty much always take seraphim uh unless there's some bosses where it's like 
you need to play more range than you would take a uh, sanctified wrath but yeah i think i feel like seraphim is just so much better overall than the thing if sanctified wrath not only had the avenging wrath last 25 percent longer and caused judgment to generate one additional holy power if it also exploded on every time you use holy power i think that would be better but it might be over here in the retribution tree so we'll see um this uh by the way sorry my bad seraphim i'm talking about like in case of like if you're red if you are holy or prod you take sanctified wrath for sure hey what's here the crusader strike now also grants you 158 increased primary staff for six seconds multiple applications may overlap okay this is the only reason to go holy tree with a red dude 158 strength I mean, I don't know what the strength numbers are gonna be in Dragonflight, but this is actually pretty fucking pretty good. As well as like for Holy, this is fantastic, and for Prot, it's not bad as well. All primary strats die, right? Increased primary stats, so intelligence or strength, right? Basically. Um, Seal of Clarity. Spending Holy Power has a five percent chance to reduce the Holy Power cost of your next Word of Glory, or I have done, or Shield of the Righteous by one. Mm. Just word of glory, though, right? Mm. Not really. And this is uh, this is for holy for sure. I don't see it for anyone else, really. Uh, of dusk and dawn. When you reach five holy power, you gain blessing of dawn. When you reach zero holy power, you gain blessing of dusk. Oh, they took the legendary power. Damage only increased by six percent. This is actually not too bad. Um, I can see it used for red, but I don't know how the points would be. This can actually be used for everything. Reach 5 Holy Power, gain Blessing of Dawn. So that's 6% increased damage. Which would make you always get to like 5. Uh, try to get to the um, 5 Holy Power, which is basically going to take you about 12 seconds usually. <laughs> like every other rotation, I would say. So it's like you get to 5, you spend. So you spend the 3, you get 1, you spend the 3. And then getting back to 5. Uh, that will take you about 12 seconds. So it's actually not bad. Like it, it makes you think a bit more about your rotation, I guess. And because you reach the blessing of dusk, whenever you do five to two to three to zero, you get blessing of dusk all the time. It's actually not bad overall. It's actually like also will be used in PvP as well. You will get to five quite often. Uh, in the dawn, your holy power spending abilities deal 10% increased damage and healing. In the dust, your armor is 10%, your flesh of light heals for 10% more. This, again, like, I can see this used for red. I, you cannot use all three, though. I, I know that much. Hmm. Interesting. We'll see how this works. I don't know how many points you get. But uh, I can see this being used for, uh, like, I feel like this 10% increased damage plus the 6%. So it's like 16% increased damage pretty much very consistently as long as you get to the 5 holy power, which you should. Because that's like, it would fit your rotation is so much better than this. Yeah, 6% increased damage is better than 30% on just your hammer of wrath. You can pretty much maintain Blessing of Dawn almost 100% of the time. That's, that's fucking massive. In PvE. PvP, probably not, but like, even in PvP, it's like zero holy power for the reduced damage. I think that's pretty massive as well. And here it's, yeah, so probably these two. I feel like these two, DPS-wise, would trump these. There's nothing really here. Like, the Consecration is just too weak. Unless they buffed Consecration. I don't know. Alright, let's see what's going on with Retribution. Okay. Alright, so that will be it for the Paladin Tree. I'm gonna do separate videos.